Welcome back to the Hunter of Dividends YouTube channel. It's been a while. I'm happy to be back here with another dividend video. The main gig here has been really busy here of late, but I'm looking forward to covering a new dividend stock that I've been buying here of late. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll know that uh, I've been buying quite a few different dividend stocks, kind of slowly um, dollar cost averaging into a lot of different names here as the stock market has dipped in a big way here over the last few weeks, certainly. For long-term buyers, I think that that can be a good thing. You know, we get uh, quality companies at a decreased price. So uh, I like to try to see it as an opportunity rather than uh, worrying about it too much here in the short term. You can follow me over on Twitter at Hunt Dividends. Uh, and let's get into the stock here. We're going to talk about Comcast Corporation. CMCSA is the ticker symbol. First, this is a one-year chart of Comcast trading here at close on uh, September 26th at $30.89. This is a new low, uh, new 52-week low for them. You can see it's been just uh, steady down uh, throughout the course of the year. Let's look at the five-year, which is pretty drastic, honestly. Uh, you see that this is now down for the five-year period. It started um, this period five years ago at about $36 per share, went as high as 60 uh, last year, and now has dipped all the way down to $30.89. So why has Comcast dipped this much? Um, you know, the, the market in general has dipped quite a bit. And, uh, you know, I think Comcast does have a decent amount of debt, as most of the companies in this business do have quite a bit of debt. Uh, that certainly hurts them, but I think this has been overdone at this point. Um, Comcast has a lot going for it as well. So let's dive right in and take a look at fast graphs here first. Then we'll take a look at simply save dividends. Fast graphs, we're looking at adjusted operating earnings historical here. Um, let's take this back uh, 15 years. And you can see that this one pretty much trades right on the blue line, the average price uh, to earnings ratio. And it's dipped below it a few times before, but then it's been a good buy. Um, you know, if we go back 20 years, you'll see quite a bit of the same. It, it can go below this for a little ways, but it usually comes back up about to that range. If anything, this sector probably trades um, at a bit reduced number PE ratio, at least compared to the rest of the market. Uh, Comcast, though, to me, has really fallen off a cliff here of late. You can see uh, this black line showing the trade uh, here of late has really hit it in a big way. Let's look at operating cash flow, which I like to look at quite a bit here uh, based on the fact that that has a lot to do with their dividend. You'll see that that is way below what it normally has been. Um, this is a stock that has really taken a hit here of late. The free cash flow here which uh, is how the company is going to pay their dividends. So if you want to know if the dividend is safe, uh, having a, a solid uh, price to free cash flow and free cash flow numbers is very important. Certainly, let's look at EBITDA here really quick. Again, below the average. Um, let's look at sales really quickly here. Sales, um, this one has been a bit closer to the average, but has dipped below quite a bit here of late. So I'm going to look at forecasts. Um, we're going to look at the forecast out here. This is a really good tool that Fast Graphs has here that if you look just at the average, uh, what this is usually traded at, and then what the forecasts are, if you go out to 2024, you could get an um, IRR of 39.3% per year. If you go to the average, I think that might be a bit too high, to be honest. Um, I'd rather look at a number like the 10 and a half or 12 times, which is 20% rate of return or a 26.83 rate of return, which is fantastic, obviously. So uh, anybody would take that. That's with adjusted operating earnings. If you look at free cash flow, um, it's not quite as impressive, but still 19% rate of return, below here 14%, and then 8.7%. Let's look at sales. Um, sales, it looks even better. 40% rate of return. Go on down here. It's about 27%. Um, all the way down even to the very lowest of these, uh, which gives us a 5% rate of return. So uh, it's the stock market is trading 
um, Comcast in a way that it is extremely bearish about the company's future um, earnings. And certainly there are reasons to question the stock market in general right now, but I'm looking at the long term. And uh, if we look at the long term growth of this company, there's nothing to suggest that this is the type of um, price that this should be trading at long term. So it definitely does look undervalued uh, here at Fast Graphs. Uh, from a valuation standpoint, let's look at Simply Safe dividends. Comcast, a three and a half percent dividend yield now. This company has usually had you know, a dividend yield in the two percent range, and it's jumped all the way up to three and a half just because of this drop. Dividend safety score here from Simply Safe dividends of 89, very safe. Eight percent dividend growth here lately, um, the most recent, and then the beta of 0.65. This is certainly a lower beta stock. As you can see, this is a smaller position for me, only $1,500 in market value right now, but that's just because I just started this position. It's already dropped a decent amount more, 7.5% uh, here with a really big drop in the stock market in the last couple of weeks, and I've just been buying a little bit more here as we go. I'll continue to do that. Dividend growth the last five years, 13% on average. Uh, I think the recession sales is a pretty impressive figure. Um, the recession return was negative 52%, which is a, a, actually a bit better than the S&P 500. But the recession sales you see were actually up. Comcast does have a pretty uh, good business for during a recession. You're still going to have to pay them. So uh, not too many people are going to cut them off during that kind of period. If we look at the average dividend yield over a five-year, it's been 2.02%. It's up to 3.5% right now. The average forward P.E. ratio for five years has been 14.3. Right now, 8.4. And in the communication sector, Comcast is pretty far undervalued compared to the rest of the companies. Here is, is what I really like to see out of Comcast. These uh, earnings payout ratio and the free cash flow payout ratio, both sitting almost exactly at 30%. 30% is a really low rate. And I really think that they have plenty of room to grow this dividend in the future. Uh, we see, again, that this was a 15% or 13% over five years and 16% over 10 years. I think they can keep growing this dividend at a pretty quick rate here going forward. feel pretty comfortable about that because um, the cash flow uh, has been pretty consistent. You know, they've, they've had a bit of ups and downs, but nothing like a lot of uh, companies have their earnings per share have been very solid. Uh, this is a a business that is going to stick around. Uh, you see they've been buying back shares and shares outstanding have dropped quite a bit. Return on equity is solid. Uh, this is uh, good margins here from cash flow and operating margins. As I said, they do have a bit higher debt. If you were going to give it a knock, I would say that would be the the knock here on Comcast. But in general, a company that is trading much cheaper than it usually does. Comcast is a stock I'm buying right now, and I'm going to continue to buy here as uh, things uh, continue to dip in the stock market. If it continues to dip, I'll be happy to, to add some more here to Comcast. I think this is a, a good long-term play, not an exciting play, and not one that I really would have had circled months ago that I'd be buying right now, but the market has discounted it so much that I have to buy into Comcast. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you buying Comcast? Are you not buying Comcast? Why or why not? Uh, what other stocks would you like to see me cover here in the future on this channel? Let me know. I'm happy to cover those. And again, follow me at Hunt Dividends on Twitter. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Appreciate it very much. Let's continue growing our dividends here over the long term. Have a great rest of your week.